At 10th, we start off strong with Dungeons of Dread Rock. A simple yet clever attempt at recreating the old-school flair of classic RPGs. Dreadrock borrows concepts from games that came before, while adding their own touch to gameplay. There's no need for a lengthy story campaign. Everything works with a simple premise and quirky writing. Its grid-based combat looks comfortable on Android's smaller screen. Even solving its Sokoban-like puzzles doesn't feel like a chore. Ninth in our rankings is Milo and the Magpies. A fascinating point-and-click adventure. While it has those same simplistic mechanics as other point-and-clicks, Milo and the Magpie's hand-painted backdrops with touches of animation makes it stand out more than most. The puzzles are fairly simple, which means you can focus more on its heartwarming story. If you're interested in titles like these, you can get it for a measly two and a half dollars. At 8th, we have Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. There's a lot to unpack here. Five Nights at Freddy's clones are everywhere, some impressive, some meh. With its detailed visuals and an eerie monster design that could even rival Freddy himself, Poppy Playtime manages to hit the sweet spots. Escape from this dilapidated toy manufacturing factory and avoid any of the evil toys. It's still on Chapter 1, so expect more to come out soon. Seventh in our list is Dungeon of Gods. Amass hours and hours of casual clicking gameplay in this infinite RPG from Super Planet. Playable with just one hand, it's the ideal game to play for killing time on your commutes. There's a lot of numbers here, as well as fancy moves that make you feel like you're actually doing something cool. It's not the most complicated game, but it's an easy dopamine rush for those busy days. Sixth place is Hot Lap Lee. There's another extreme racing game competing in the mobile game market. Hot Lap League isn't trying to innovate on the already tried and tested racing formula. What it does is give more players the chance to ride through carefully designed racetracks at breakneck speeds. What's not to love about more racing levels for racing fans? Like most, it features a variety of customization options to fine-tune your bad boy. Not only that, it even lets you flex those drifting skills and climb through the leaderboards. Our fifth choice is Final Fantasy VI. Consider the most underrated Final Fantasy of the bunch, 6 makes its way to the Android devices in a whole new light. It's no remake, but it does a good job of ironing out old-gen visuals with new graphics and improved audio. It's the answer for new fans looking to find that classic FF fix. This will be an unforgettable experience, as it is one of the darkest stories in Final Fantasy history. Its turn-based mechanics might be intimidating, but this is the perfect time to pick it up again or for the first time. Fourth in the ranking is Heck Deck. There's a lot of weird games on the market, but we clearly haven't seen everything yet. Heck Deck's unique offering comes from combining deck building and bullet hell. For a game with a simple art style, it does offer a variety of fun, frustration, and challenge. Using your cards as bullets to take down enemies is one thing, but making good use of time is another problem altogether. Time stops when you're not moving, so you better think ahead before picking that card. In our third spot is European War 7 Medieval. It's hard to imagine a fully functional strategy game on the mobile, but thankfully, this one from Easy Tech makes it work. For fans of Civ or any 4X, this offers pretty much the same functions. The only difference is that you can manage your troops and grow your empire entirely at the palm of your hand. Relive epic moments in history or make your own with its 14 massive chapters and many campaigns. Of course, there are in-app purchases, but it's safe to say that this game can be enjoyed without spending a buck. At second, we have not words. Noodle Cake's latest word game puts logic first and vocabulary second. There's no need to be intimidated by its levels. Anagrams are all around the grid, whether it's up or down. You just need to find the perfect word to tie everything together. You know, like a knot. You don't need to be a walking dictionary to solve them. All it takes is a little trial and error, and maybe a few Google searches or help from a nearby friend. And taking the crown for the best Android game for the first half of this year is Streets of Rage 4. Coming out on Android devices was a big win for this beat-em-up. A return to their classic side-scrolling adventures, it also added a modern flavor to the gameplay. 
It runs smoothly on compatible devices, offering seamless frame rates when dealing with many enemies or playing with a friend via two-player co-op. Dotemu does a job well with its performance, despite running on a smaller platform. Even its soundtrack is still a banger, 